Oops. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum, yum. So welcome to my first ever hotel video, this is Hilton Garden Inn in Hanoi. I just got off a taxi from Hanoi airport with my luggages I can use to access ramp to go to the lobby. We're located in the French Quarter area and we're about 600 meters away from the other Hilton hotel. This is a relatively new hotel, it opened in 2013 and it's the first Hilton Garden Inn in Southeast Asia. So my room today is a one king bedroom. The size is about 269 square feet or 25 square meter. It's the cheapest room they've got here, along with the twin bedroom. Our room is facing towards the southeast, towards the Red River, but we're a bit too low to see it. As a Hilton Honors Gold member, I wasn't given an upgrade today to the one king bedroom suite because they're all occupied, but I was given a king bedroom that was higher up. So my first impression to my room is relatively spacious and lots of natural lights. The bathroom looks amazing too, and we have a kohuk. I absolutely love the marble floor and the wall. And to my surprise, we have a bathtub, which I did not expect at all for a Hilton Garden Inn brand. The curtain is outside, so you'll have to trust your roommate. And fortunately or unfortunately, I don't have one. I'm 5'10 or 178cm tall and a bathtub is big enough for me. There's also a handrail should you need help to get up naked. We've also got two shower heads, one is the portable one and the other one is above you. Now let's move on and talk about the amenities they've got in the bathroom. So they've got two hand towels and two normal sized bath towels and then two face towels. Like the regular Hilton brands, they're using the Crabtree and Evelyn products. One product each for shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, body lotion and a bar soap. You've got two universal charging outlets, so one for your hairdryer and one for your phone. Now let's move on to our room. So you've got this big wardrobe. They're all connected through it inside. You'll find ironing board, a couple of hangers and a laundry bag, which I'm going to steal. Two cheap sleepers, not great quality, but it's garden in anyway, so I didn't expect much. Here's a safe. You've got two drawers down here, and normally I put my dirty laundry there. You'll find your hair dryer up there. So instead of having a rack for your suitcase, the designer of the room have allocated a space for that. My full-sized check-in suitcase fits in with a bit of space left. The table is all wood and it's clean. Every day you'll get two large bottles of water. Tap water is not drinkable, so you'll need one of those. For the next two days, I'm going to go on two separate tours and one big bottle is perfect for each day. Your TV is quite tiny and here you've got more charging outlets, USB port as well. It's located not too far away from your working desk area. And again, I love how the charging outlets are universal. So here's your economic chair and a mirror to look at yourself while you work. I really don't know what to say about the chair, but it's not bad. So on the table, you'll find a room service menu. You've got a good selection of Western and Vietnamese options. For Western options, you've got burgers and pasta. The prices are more expensive for Vietnamese standards, but coming from Hong Kong and Australia, they're still pretty cheap. A carbonara is 190,000 dong, which is about $8.27 in USD. And that includes all the delivery charges and your taxes. On the table, you'll also find your internet cable and a telephone. Now let's check out the coffee and tea stuff. I'm doing it carefully because it's quite heavy. So very clean china, which is great. In the tray, we have two coffee powder. There's no milk here and I've checked the fridge as well, nothing. I'm so glad instead of Lipton they give you Dilma tea, two black tea and two peppermint. Kettle is also clean with no remaining water in there. 
You've got an ice bucket there, you can grab them for free on another floor. So next to your bed you have a one person sofa. If the TV is larger, it will be perfect, it's like a lounge chair. On your bedside table you have a pen and paper. Some garden in don't include pen and paper so I'm glad they do here. Alarm clock and we've got a second telephone. So if you're too lazy to get out of bed, perfect, you've got another one next to your bed. Here's a lamp, another big lamp, and you've got another tiny one again on the other side of your bed. On the other side as well though, you have charging outlets again. Universal again, and no USB port. Now let's try the bed out. Hilton for me always have good beds and I trust this is no exception. The bed was indeed very comfortable and now let's move on to the gym. It's a very tiny gym, very limited facilities, but it does open 24-7. You have a water station and towels there. You've also got a TV remote if you want to use the TV, hand sanitizer and your cups for the TV. For the dumbbell, the heaviest weight they've got is 9 kilogram. So yeah, I was in the gym just to show you what the gym is like, didn't do any exercise. Now let's move on to the meeting room. It's a relatively tiny one, but it does look nice. This is the garden bar. It's a restaurant located on the lobby floor. If you have breakfast, this is where you'll have it. If you're eligible for breakfast because of your status or your room rate, you can also opt for having it in your room free of charge. So this is a street right outside your Hanoi Garden Inn. A few restaurants and cafes nearby. This is the Opera House, 600 meters away from your hotel. The regular Hilton is right next to it. So now I'm going to try call the guest service to get some toiletries and see how long it will take them to bring it over to my room. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Gammon. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Come on. Hello, Steve. So I got what I asked all within six minutes, so really impressive. There's a spa locator on the 11th floor, so I decided to go have a look. Unfortunately, I guess due to COVID, it's not open. Let's just go back to my room. So every day before 9pm you can go to the reception and fill in the breakfast form and then a staff will deliver it to you at the time that you request. So this is now day two for me. The sun is rising slowly from the east side and today I chose the western option and tomorrow I'll give the Vietnamese a go. So with my honest gold status this is free of charge. So for bakery items I requested two croissant and then cereal with milk, omelette and some bacon they put the tomato paste very beautifully on the plate, a plate of salad, Vietnamese coffee and a plain yogurt. I'm adding condensed milk for the coffee. Vietnamese coffee is really good, I'm not a big coffee person but I do love it. Let's give this bacon a go. So now I'm going to leave this messy room for the cleaning staff as I go off for Ninh Binh. Ninh Binh was absolutely beautiful, if you want to have a look what that is like. I have it included in my Bamboo Airways trip report from Sydney to Ho Chi Minh. I'll have the link in the description down below. So I'm just waiting for the bus arriving at my hotel and then off I go to Ninh Binh. It's a small hotel so the lobby is small too. I love how even at the lobby they've got universal power outlet. So here's a quick glimpse of what Nimbin looks like. I just can't wait to jump onto my bed and order food like room service.
so the bed is beautifully made and they tidied up my table as well. I only used a bottle of water and they gave me a second one again free of charge. Everything is clean and dust free. The staff has also restocked our tea. It was empty before I left because I drank them. No, actually it's all in my suitcase. Toiletries also replaced and restocked. Yep, um, can I please get a chicken curry? 25 minutes, okay. No problem, thank you, come in, bye. In less than 25 minutes, my dinner has arrived. I got Vietnamese coffee and Indian chicken curry rice with a bit too much coriander on top. The curry is quite liquidy, I thought it was going to be more like a paste. Good morning everyone, my third day here, my second breakfast. Ooh, this time I opted for the Vietnamese option, I got a beef fuller. Some Danish pastry, croissant, OJ and fruits. So today I got lots of bakery items because I want to take them with me to my tour to Ha Long Bay. The chef here loves coriander. Oops. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take those downstairs and see if they've got a takeaway box and here's my outfit for the day. They gave me this container and a bag and off we go to Ha Long Bay. The guy behind me is an Australian. This is my sixth day in Vietnam and he was the first Australian I saw during my time in Vietnam. I met plenty of Americans and Europeans but I couldn't believe it took me six days to find one Aussie. So it's now already day four, uh, 5am ish, I'm about to leave to go to Hanoi airport flying to Bangkok. So let's quickly conclude our hotel review right here, right now. So the receptionists here are absolutely friendly, they gave me a first good impression of the people of Hanoi and not gonna lie, one of them is now my friend. Service was also excellent, the lady who checked me in walked with me to the lift and during day three, my bus to Ha Long Bay arrived over an hour late. The receptionist that morning helped me with communicating with a bus driver. And the receptionist said I could go back to my room, relax, and she'll call me when the bus has arrived. So again, I absolutely loved the marble floor and the wall and the bathtub. The leg room for the toilet is really, really average though. The room service for me is affordable and I like how because of COVID, they allow you to have breakfast in a comfort of your room, or you can have it normally in the restaurant downstairs. So overall, a very lovely stay. If I have to go through the pros and cons quickly, pros are that the breakfast is good, service excellent and efficient, clean room and relatively big, comfortable bed, 24 seven gym, and the fact that they have a bathtub for a garden in, very good. The cons, the slippers are cheap, and the leg room for your toilet is limited. So guys, thank you so much for watching my first ever hotel reviews. A few more will be coming soon, I've already filmed them. As usual, please don't be scared to subscribe and like, I appreciate that a lot. And I'll see you in my next video, bye bye.